Have you seen Mauna Loa? I asked Will. No, he replied as a foot-high wall of concrete began covering his boot toes. It's a volcano in Hawaii, I explained. The cement truck driver added to our education by pointing out that five yards of concrete weighs 20,000 pounds. Now, it's not that we're complete novices around cement. We've poured footings, built rock walls, and driven over lots of concrete cattle guards. We built a farm, and the farm was to be for a freestanding stem wall, four by two by 16, thus 4.74 cubic yards. 7 a.m. on the dot, the giant concrete truck rumbled in. The driver backed up to the spot and swung his long chute out over the top of the form. It looked like the dull ovipositor on a gigantic wasp squatting over a tarantula's hole. In retrospect, I realized the driver had probably seen cowboy projects before and anticipated excitement. Are you ready? He asked gleefully. Let her rip, I said, like a man in front of a firing squad. Standing next to a cement mixer truck as tons of gravelly concrete roll down the chute can rattle your brain. As the cement reached the two-foot level, the sides of the form began to bulge. Will asked, do you have any cardboard? An interesting question, I remember thinking. Something General Custer might have asked as the Indians closed in on him. Well, we tried to stem the bulge by driving stakes in the ground, but the gray mass simply wedged its shoulders up under the form and lifted it off the ground. Stop! The churning mixer stopped. Another 900 pounds of concrete clattered into the form. A tide of lava surged from underneath and rolled the length of two shovel handles before it sludged to a stop at Will's feet. Mauna Loa, he repeated. Never seen it. Yeah, I said, but now you don't have to. This is Baxter Black from out there.